Tell me. Can I speak of what did not occur? Steve McQueen is a film director whose track record demonstrates he will never compromise his vision. I said, come here! I brought her back, just like you. His new movie, 12 Years a Slave, is based very firmly on the true story of Solomon Northrop, a free man who was kidnapped and sold into slavery. It's the story of how he kept his humanity in the face of the most unspeakable, relentless cruelty. Well, I don't want to survive. I want to live. My wife, who's a historian, says to me, why don't you look into first-hand accounts of slavery? And we did, and she found this book called 12 Years a Slave, and it was, it was amazing, because uh, every turn of the page was revelation. And I, I closed the book, and I was very angry at myself. I was angry at myself because I thought to myself, well, how did I not know this book? And then I realized that no one I knew knew, knew this book, so that was it. That was it. I needed to make this book into, my, into, into a movie. I got this from Mrs. Shaw. Mrs. Zepps won't even grab me no soap to clean with. I stink so much I make myself gag. The film is this, a fantastic combination of intense moments. I mean, there is intense cruelty, but there's also intense beauty in it as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. When people, for example, say to me, well, how can you shoot something uh, is so horrific and, uh, but so beautiful? Because that's life. I mean, if you go to Louisiana, it is one of the most beautiful places you've you ever been to. And I wasn't going to tell Sean Bobbitt, my camera, Sean, we're doing a weapon scene. Can you put a dark lens on this, please? Mm -hmm. No, I can't put my stencil onto a situation. Just like I can't put a filter on, onto life. It is what it is. It's perverse. Life is perverse. That's what it is. Under the circumstances, he's a slave. But you truckle at his boot. No. You luxuriate in his face. I survive. I will not fall into despair. Too much I do for was a man t for the job because there's a certain kind of stature to him, there's a certain kind of presence to him. Uh, there's a kind of nobility to him in, in a way which I needed, and humanity which is the most important. Less nobility, more humanity. Because in, within the environment of, 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 it, of, a, of a situation which was inhumane, he had to hold on to that. My back is thick with scars for protesting my freedom. I was reading a, a, one of the articles, a black writer saying that he's not going to watch this film because race films are made for liberal white film goers because they'll end up feeling guilty and uh, that's really the purpose of them. I don't make films for white people. <laughs> I just don't. It's like, it's like saying, you know, it's like saying, um, you know, I don't need anyone to, 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 to verify my existence. I make films or I make art because um, I'm alive and I'm an artist and uh, I, I want to make things to, I mean, I'm an entertainer, absolutely I am. There's no two ways about it, One, you can't escape that. But my film is about us rather than a specific group of people. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's, to, to, to a certain extent, it's, a, it's an American tale, but it's a global tale, absolutely. You are no better than prized livestock. Chiwetel Ejiofor has to do so much without words. Yes. Playing that character, particularly when he has to whip Patsy. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you separate the acting from the actual natural distress of doing something like that? You don't. You don't. You cannot. But that's part of actually getting to some kind of truth within filming. The fact that we shot it in one take, it, there was a tension there. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why you get that kind of performance, because you, you have to, you, know, you, 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 you ramp it up. You have to, you know, we have to go. We have to do this now. But at the same time, one has talked to the, each individual actor already previously and in, in rehearsals. It's like sort of 100 meter sprint. You, you train for four years in order to sort of run for 10 seconds. You know, that's what it's about. You've got to do it now. Steve McQueen doesn't shy away from tough subjects. Hunger, his first feature, dealt with Bobby Sands, the provisional IRA prisoner who died on the 5th of May 1981 after 66 days on hunger strike. For me, what was important about making the film was that um, it was something which was swept underneath the carpet. It's, at that time and even now, it was the most, it is the most important political event to happen in Britain at that time for 27 years. Ten men died through starvation in the British prison cell. And when the film came out, a dialogue, a conversation occurred about the troubles. So the movie at that point for me wasn't important. What was important was the dialogue. Certain things were said, people you know, admitted to certain things that were never admitted to. The, the, you know, the, the, the British establishment admitted to sort of atrocities that, they, they, that occurred in, in, in H blocks. That was the first time that this ever happened. The dialogue occurred. 
Um, and I think you know, that's, that's the power of art, you know, in a way that it can actually, you know, the simple thing it could do is just, it just tell you what, what's, what's going on now, where, where we're at, and hopefully where we possibly could go in the future. Steve McQueen is already being garlanded for 12 years a slave, but if he wins the Oscar, he'll be the first black director to take the statue. If you win the Oscar, is the pressure on you going to be to take the Hollywood money or do you want to maintain your independence? Uh, no, I'm not Hollywood money. I'm not interested in it. If I was interested in money, I'm, you know, if I was interested in money, I'd be somewhere else. I wouldn't be here. I'm not interested. That doesn't, that doesn't interest me. All I, want, I, all I wanted to do, I wanted two things out of my life as far as money was concerned. I wanted to have shelter and I wanted to be able to buy any book I wanted. That was it. I had those. So that's, that's enough. There is very definitely a Team McQueen. Michael Fassbender has starred in each of his three films and he works with the same director of photography, Sean Bobbitt, each time. It's my band, you know, it's, it's my band. <laughs> it's crew. Yeah, absolutely, and, we, and now and then we come together, we make, we, we, we make an album, you know, again, you know, Michael's Jagger, you know, <laughs> Sean is the drummer, and, uh, you know... Charlie Watts. Charlie Watts, and... Uh, <laughs> Charlie Watts, okay. Yeah, you're Keith Richard. I, I had to be. You have I to be. Everyone wants to be, everyone wants to be Keith, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Keith, yeah. 